Hello everyone, this is Sina. Welcome to our early on uh, family center video. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, one element of building resilience is emotional awareness. We're going to uh, uh, learn this emotional awareness through four books. So we're going to read four books, but before we start the four books, we're going to also uh, introduce some fun ways to help kids recognize their emotions. So one of them you probably already know is through the songs. This is one of our favorite songs that kids is all time favorite if you're happy, if you're sad. So you can at home you can also sing this song and if you have those emotional faces then the kids will know how to express their uh, emotions through sounds and then we can sing it together uh, again if you're happy and you know it clap your hands clap clap if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know and you really want to show if you're happy and you know clap your hands if you're sad and you know cry hoo hoo if you're sad and you know, cry hoo hoo hoo. If you're sad and you know, and you really want to show, if you're sad and you know, cry hoo hoo hoo. If you're angry and you know, take a breath. If you're angry and you know, take a breath. If you're angry and you know, and you really want to show, if you're angry and you know, take a breath. If you're scared and you know, give a hug, hug, hug yourself, maybe. If you're scared and you know, give a hug. If you're scared and you know, and you really want to show, if you're scared and you know, give a hug. If you're excited and you know, show hurry, hurry. If you're excited and you know, show hurry, hurry. If you're excited and you know, and you really want to show, if you're excited and you know, show hurry, hurry. So those are one of our songs that will help kids to uh, build awareness around their emotions. And um, we also use these emotional charts. Um, if anybody are interested, I'm gonna to um, attach a link uh, below the video so you can download. Um, you can use, you can post this on your fridge and you can use it to help your kids to identify their emotions. Uh, especially for younger kids, when they don't have the words, maybe parents can help them to point to the pictures of different emotions to help them identify. And with the words, you can also give them vocabulary, emotional vocabulary. If uh, they are better able to express their emotions, they are better to um, self-regulate themselves and control their emotions. Uh, we often say if you name it, you tame it. If they can give their emotion a name, it's very it's more easier to help them process uh, their emotions. Or you can also cut those emotional faces off from magazines or from uh, any books that you find and you can cut them and make a booklet uh, for yourself. Make an emotional uh, booklet to have emotion stories um, to help the kids and identify uh, those emotions. And talking about songs, uh, we're talking about different emotions with those uh, face mat, but we can also use the same tune uh, to teach kids different ways to deal with uh, certain strong emotions. For example, we can sing, uh, if you're angry and you know some. Um, so I can give an example and then you, at home you can try different emotions with the same tone. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know and you really want 
want to show if you're angry and you know stamp your feet if you're angry and you know take a breath if you're angry and you know take a breath if you're angry and you know and you really want to show if you're angry and you know take a breath if you're angry and you know count to five one two three four five if you're angry and you know count to five one two three four five if you're angry and you know and you really want to show if you're angry and you know count to five one two three four five if you're angry and you know walk away if you're angry and you know, walk away. If you're angry and you know, and you really want to show, if you're angry and you know, walk away. If you're angry and you know, tell a friend. If you're angry and you know, tell a friend, tell a friend. If you're angry and you know, and you really want to show, if you're angry and you know, tell a friend. Okay, so those are some ways that kids can use when they're angry. They can stomp your, they can stomp their feet. They can take a deep breath. They can count to five. They can tell a friend. They can walk away. Uh, so those are some ways that they can deal with anger. Um, and at home, maybe parents, you can make up your own song to teach kids how to deal with sadness or how to deal with fear. Um, so there are different ways to express our emotions. Okay, one last thing before we start our stories is... Uh, cotton ball uh, face painting. This is a game that you can play with your kids. Um, so you can, first you can model, you can pretend to draw some faces using cotton balls on your own face. For example, you can draw a face, use cotton balls, and then talk, ask your kids what kind of face you're drawing um, on your own face using the cotton ball. and. You can also draw different emotions. And then you and your kids, you can sit in front of each other using a cotton ball and you can draw a face on each other's. You can face paint on each other's face. Your kids, maybe if they're too, if they're very young, they may scramble on your face, but it's, it's fun. And you can make some facial expressions of different uh, emotions. And you can also draw a face on face. You can also paint their face with the cotton ball and ask them to guess what kind of emotion you drew on their face. So this is a guessing game and fun game to uh, learn emotions. Or you can use a mirror. Um, you can try to make a sad face. Mm or angry face or a happy face, look at the mirror and then ask your kids to look at the mirror to have the same uh, uh, action or same game. So those are some fun ways you can uh, help your kids to uh, build awareness around emotions. Um, okay, so we're gonna start our stories. Uh, we have four uh, beautiful stories uh, to listen today. Have fun. The first book is Foods with Moods, a first book of feelings. This book is for kids um, two and up. And the second book is In My Heart. Um, it's also a book of feelings. It's more for kids um, three years and up. The third one we're going to read today is called Boohoo Bird. It's for kids uh, one and a half years old. So they can, they probably can understand this story. And the last story we're going to read today is Just Because I Am, a child's book of affirmation. It's more for kids who are three years and up. Enjoy. How are you feeling? 
Foods, Ways, Moods, Sexton, Freeman, and、uh, Jost Efforts. Look at all the fruits and vegetables. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Happy, sad, feeling blue, feeling bad. Can a gentle, smiling friend try to cheer you up again? When you have to wait because someone is late, are you bored, jumpy, worried, grumpy, excited as the minutes pass? Now your friend is here at last. How? Are you when friends drop by, with someone new, a little shy? Don't belong, not for long. Feel secure, or not so secure. Amused, confused. Frustrated, surprised. Try these feelings on for size. How are you feeling? When you're attacked, do you react? How do you feel when someone is mean? Timid, bold, or in between. When you are angry, do you pout, whine, cry, scream, shout? Feeling sorry and ashamed, or embarrassed to be blamed? Jealous. Disappointed too when you are hurt. Who comforts you? So many smiles. Can you decide who's feeling safe? Who's feeling pride? Weird, tired, need a kiss. Do you know anyone like this? Do you let your feelings show? Who do you love? How do they know? When how you feel is understood, you have a friend, and that feels good. How are you feeling? The end. Through the story, we know that we have so many emotions, and parents, you can play those emotional games using food and vegetables, or maybe when you are cooking, you can make different faces with different kind of food. That's also a good arts activity, and also helps kids to recognize their、uh, emotions. And、uh, it's good to be able to name the emotions, and also it's very healthy to express their emotions. Uh, in a good way. And now we're gonna read another story. In my heart. In my heart, a book of feelings. In my heart, a book about feelings. My heart is full of feelings, big feelings and small feelings. Loud feelings and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star, shiny and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast. I feel as if I could take off into the sky, 
This is when my heart is happy. Other times, my heart feels strong. I stand up tall, as if I can touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling, hot and loud. This is when my heart is mad. But other times, my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as snowfall. This is when my heart is calm. On harder days, mean words hurt my feelings, and my heart feels hurt too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. Some days, my heart feels as heavy as an elephant. There's a dark cloud over my head, and tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. But my heart doesn't stay sad, like springtime after winter. The sack comes out again. My heart grows tall, like a plant reaching toward the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. Ick! When I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold, as if a chilly breeze has crawled up my neck, and I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is afraid. When it's time for a bit of fun, my heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. I break a barbara. I, ho I hop around like a bouncy bunny. This is when my heart is silly. Sometimes I hide my heart away where no one can see, like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone to look at me, safe on my swing. I can watch the world from up above. This is when my heart is shy. My heart can feel so many feelings, and yours can too. Today, my heart is proud. How does your heart feel? The end. When parents show they understand feelings, children learn how to be understanding too. Understanding helps us build strong relationships and handle life's challenges. So we can share understanding with our kids. We can comfort our kids when he or she is upset. You can say, I understand it really hurt when you fell. It must have made you mad when he took your toy. We can also name feelings. We can use, I am sad, I am happy, or you look embarrassed, you look worried. Or we can also say, you might feel mad or scared. And throughout the day, we can connect feelings to what we see. We can say, oh, look at that smile, you're so happy. We can also comment on how people react to situations or worse. When you share with him, he looks happy. Or when Sally called Isabel a name, it hurt his feelings. See, he's so mad. You can also ask your child about their feelings. What are you feeling right now? She looks sad. I wonder what makes her feel sad. And we can pause and think together about others' feelings throughout the day. For example, at bedtime, when meeting new people, 
when you see your child's mood change, when reading about characters in books. So through all these ways, with all these ways, we can help our kids to understand their feelings. Boohoo Bird by Jeremy Tunkard. Bird and Raccoon were enjoying a game of catch when Bird got bunked on the head. Ouch, moaned Bird. That hurt a lot. He started to cry. Oh no, said Raccoon. I wounded Bird. Here, I will kiss it better. Raccoon kissed Bird's bunk. Bird kept crying. It still hurts. I'm sorry, said Raccoon. Let's see if Rabbit can help. Raccoon told Rabbit what happened. Poor Bird, said Rabbit. Would a hug help? Rabbit gave Bird a hug. Bird cried some more. It's not helping. Let's go find Beaver, said Rabbit. Ha! Ah, he knows what to do. What you need is a cookie, said Beaver. You can fix any problem with a cookie. Beaver gave Bird a cookie. Bird cried louder. I think I'm getting dizzy. Let's ask Sheep what to do, said Beaver. She's full of ideas. Beaver showed Bird's boo-boo to Sheep. How about a game of hide and seek, suggested Sheep. The animals ran and hid. You want me to hide? Wailed Bird. I can hardly walk. Surely fox can make you feel better, said Sheep. He's clever. Bird got bumped on the head, Sheep told Fox. He's quite upset. What you need is a band-aid, said Fox. He disappeared into his den and came back. Band-aids always make my boo-boos feel better, Fox put a band-aid on Bird's head. The band-aid isn't working, boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, cried Bird. Boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, cried Bird's friends together. Nothing is making Bird feel better. Bird looked at his friends. He felt his bunk. It didn't really hurt anymore. I think I'm okay now, he said, but his friends couldn't hear him. I said, I'm all better now, shouted Bird. See? Bird stood on his head. You're so silly, Bird, said the animals. They laughed and stood on their heads too. Come on, said Bird, let's play catch. And bunk. For mom and dad who can fix any boo-boos. The end. Just Because I Am, a child's book of affirmation. To Aaron and Adam, for caring and the lost children, for Scott, who always believes in me, and for my parents, Gloria and uh, Frederick Murphy, without whom I would not be who I am. I am a person. I am special. I am important. Not because of what I look like. Not because of what I have. Just because I am. This is my body. It is special. It is one of a kind. It is growing and changing. I want to take care of my body because it's mine. My body talks to me. It tells me when I'm hungry. It tells me when I'm sleepy. It tells me when I'm sick. I can trust my body to tell me what I need. Sometimes I have strong feelings. I feel anger. I feel sadness. I feel fear. I feel love. These feelings belong to me. When I feel angry, sometimes I yell. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I talk to someone I love. And then I feel better. When I feel sad, I need to cry, I need a hug, I need to tell someone about my sadness. So I know it's okay to be sad. When I feel scared, 
Scared of dark, scared of people and things I don't know. I need to feel protected by someone I trust. I need to feel safe. When I feel love, I feel warm and snuggly. I feel happy and safe. I feel important and special. I can love myself. I am learning and growing every day. I learn by looking. I learn by listening. I learn by doing. Sometimes I make mistakes. That's part of learning too. I sometimes. I can make decisions. Sometimes I say yes. I say yes to playing and dancing. I say yes to laughing and singing. I say yes to hugging and touching. When it feels right to me. Sometimes I say no. I say no to danger. I say no to hugging or touching that feels wrong to me. I say no to strangers and things that hurt me. I can decide. It's up to me. I have needs. It's important to that people know what I need. I can ask for help when I need it. I can ask someone who cares about me to help. And then I know I'm not alone. I am myself. I am special and unique. My body is a part of me. My feelings are a part of me. My thoughts. Are a part of me. My needs are a part of me. All of these things make up a special person, me. The end. Hope we can all understand our kids,、um, so we can all be understanding. And we can offer our kids comfort, and、uh, we can discuss feelings together. So we have stronger minds and、uh, stronger self. Thanks for watching.